like some heavy water, some water in there, maybe. Change the colors. What's that? Turn the. No, I think we can get on here. Where is the flash? It's the. Is that a computer? Let's take it out and pull it back in. I might have to check it out Charleston, South Carolina, May 24, 2012. The elites of Charleston High Society are gathered for the opening of Motoy Yamamoto's salt installation, Return to the Sea, and Adam and I were there, as honored guests. Grapes and champagne lavished upon us. But how did we get there? Flashback in January 2012. Studio B of the CACC in Charleston was given the challenge of designing a viewing platform for an art installation in the Halsey Gallery. The above image is an early sketch of Motoya Yamamoto's idea for how he would lay his salt on the ground. The challenge was to find the best way to view the work without drawing attention away from it. Our first design threat involved deciding what our main objective was and other goals. First, our, first and foremost, we wanted something that would enhance the viewer's experience. Other important goals included not distracting from the work and making our platform Functional, structurally sound, user-friendly, understated, in budget, and on time. One important part of the process was building a sleek model of the existing space in the Halsey. This would allow us to get a real feel for the regular space in the Halsey. The process of making the model was complicated and stressful. We, we detailed 3D models and multiple laser cutting templates needed. Not to mention 10 people trying to put together something that they had no idea how it got designed in the first place. Adam stained a piece of MDF to get the correct color for the concrete floor. A piece of vinyl with Motoy salt work with laser cut out and glued onto the floor. Adam and I scored a nice piece of mahogany which we used to make the base of the model. Using box joints, it really made the piece. We started out by all of us doing our own design and then we took those 11 designs and came out with three. We then took those three designs and presented them to Mark Sloan, the Halsey curator, and Motoy Yamamoto via Skype and a translator. It was quite an interesting experience trying to present to the client that was on the other side of the world, spoken a completely different language. It made it hard to try to convey ideas because we were trying to constantly simplify them for the translator. Despite most of our ideas being lost in translation, he had our boards, which really gave him a good idea of all three projects. Motoy loved all three designs, but eventually decided on this design. This design would be the best for his viewing, art, viewing his artwork. He liked the simplicity and elegance of the structure and also the aerial view that it provided, a perspective that he had not considered before. With the green light from Motoy, now we had to figure out how to build it. The first step was meeting with John Moore, right there, a structural engineer. We all had basic ideas of how this thing might be built, and essentially John Moore blew those out of the water. <laughs> to achieve the cantilever, cantilever we wanted, we had to use steel, and not just some angle iron here or there, but big six by six tube steel. At the same time that we were speaking with John Moore, we were creating mock-ups of how our railing system would work and the basic materials behind it. Plexi would have to be used instead of glass because of budget and workability, so we had to explore how to attach it to our posts. A whole Pechacucha could be devoted to just this process of figuring out how, how to put this thing together. Although four, people were, <laughs> although four people were initially selected to be the welding team, in the end most everyone got a chance to weld. Pictured here is the elite squad of welders, the Navy, Seal of we Navy SEALs of welders, if you will. We spent weekends practicing and honing our skills, getting ready for the arrival of our first order of steel. The first order of steel finally arrived, and quickly lessons were learned about the material we were working with. First, steel is really heavy. Second, steel is really heavy. And third, steel is really heavy. We, what have we gotten ourselves into? We had a lot of steel, and now we needed to, to cut it to the right size. 
Our tool of choice was a horizontal wet bandsaw. It seems simple enough, but when you're cutting a piece that weighs 100 pounds, problems arise. The steel has to be leveled perfectly on the saw or you don't get a right angle. After trial and error, the first pieces were cut and, wait, and were waiting to be welded. Our initial design involved bolting much of the steel together so that it could be taken apart and easily moved to the halsey. Steel is heavier, remember. Jigs were made to ensure that our holes were perfectly straight. Just drilling through 3 8 inch steel was a long and arduous process, and in the end, because of budget and time constraints, we ended up welding almost everything together. Here we are working in our metal shop. The structure is being, beginning to come together. The stair stringer is built, and Ron is our initial guinea pig to make sure the stairs were strong. The stringer was strong. Luckily, they were, they were, and nobody got injured. Time was getting tight, and we, while most of the steel work was done, it was almost time to move into the hull and beginning to putting it in place. Before the move, we had to fit our first plywood floor on top. With that done, we began to move our four steel components approximately five to 7,000 pounds total with the help of a guy named Floyd. A day was spent slowly, slowly moving our steel through the narrow, hall, narrow hallways of the Halsey Gallery and finally getting the main structure put up. Now we had to put this thing together. MDF was used for the walls. Birch plywood was the floor and the fascia board. Thick slabs of birch ply for the stairs. Steel for the posts. Solid birch for the hand and guardrails. And it all needed to be painted white and looked and look as clean as possible. Presentation day arrived and unfortunately it isn't complete. Almost a month and a half of 15 hour days of welding, grinding, and cutting and still wasn't done. We were deflated, but luckily Motoy wouldn't be here for another week, so we could keep working. School was technically over, but the work continued. Finally it was complete. We were beyond exhausted, but the finished product made, made it worth it all. It was sleek, elegant, understated, exactly what we had hoped for. And now all we needed was Motoy and his work that would come soon. Back to the opening day, the people came in force. Our cantilever was put to the test, but in the end, just as John Moore said, it would stand. In the end, it worked better than we imagined. Just as Motoy's sketch had inspired our work, Motoy used the platform as a way to help him with his. In a design, it, it was a design jam session, if you will. Thank you. If, if uh, anybody wants to stay and watch it, um, if I can get it to work, um, we have a video that the whole made of it all, including the including the work and our installations, like a time lapse and That's what if y'all want to start. Right, yeah, that's great. Right. I'd love to see. Yeah, it's, not, it's a really good video. We can go ahead and get started with mine. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it set up.
Video. 